All right, I'm going to do a video response to uh, scientific discussions. This has, this conversation has been going back and forth ever since Azrianok uh, published a, an open letter to Richard Dawkins in which he said uh, basically, Mr. Dawkins, you're acting just like the Muslims that you're rallying against. Uh, Mr. Cropper did a video response to that and uh, Bedtime with a Lunatic did a response to that. Then, Mr. Cropper did a, um, a rather interesting video um, uh, entitled, Dear Postmodernists, You Make No Sense. And um, so anyway, Scientific Discussion and I got into uh, a bit of a cat fight on that one. Um, so let's see, let's talk about this. Um, and Scientific Discussion did a three-parter video series um, on our discussion and on Mr. Cropper's video in general. So, let's talk a little bit about this video. Um, the, the, uh, the video that Mr. Cropper did that scientific discussion is responding to. Um, let's talk about what this video is and what it is not. Um, it is not a scholarly uh, uh, analysis of the proper use of metaphors. Um, he specifically says right in the uh, beginning of the video that this is not for his uh, critics. This video is done for people, you know, basically for people like him, for the rest of us objectivists. Um, so he's not looking to convert anybody. And this is important because this means that he is not going to go into the kind of detail and, you know, uh, he he's not going to give the kind of painstaking explanations that he's going to give for other people. I mean, it's the same thing where, you know, if you get a bunch of engineers together and, and one of the engineers says to the other, hey, have you ever noticed that when XYZ happens, this happens also? And the other engineers don't have to think very hard. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, I have noticed that. Um, but if someone's, you know, listening in on them and they go, huh, what are you talking about? You've got to prove that. You don't have any evidence for that. Well, you know, the conversation wasn't really aimed to to convince everybody that is outside the circle. So Mr. Cropper says that when whenever a postmodernist is back at, backed into a corner, very often they will pull out a metaphor that is very vague in its meaning. Um, it's hard to understand what exactly this metaphor is supposed to be applied to, um, and and in this way, by by being uh, vague, um, they get out of, you know, whatever, you know, intellectual snarl they're into, um, because, uh, they just end up confusing their opponents, and then, you know, they get out of the trap, and then they go along their merry way. That's his basic argument. All right, so let's take a look at some of the specific, uh, problems that scientific discussion has with Mr. Cropper's video. Um, let's see, um, uh, he has a, a serious problem with um, Rand's uh, Attila the Hun versus the Witch Doctor metaphor. He says, well, Ayn Rand used metaphors. Does that mean that Ayn Rand is a, a postmodernist and she should therefore shut up? Um, well, as I've said before, the issue is not the use of metaphors. It's how they're used. And um, scientific discussion says, well, Mr. Cropper never uh, defines uh, what the proper or improper use of a metaphor is. Um, well, whatever anybody thinks the proper use of a metaphor is, the, it, it, can, it can never be in a, a proper use uh, of anything to use it in order to avoid making an argument. Um, so basically, if you use anything to obscure rather than to clarify, it's a misuse of whatever it is you're using, including metaphors. Um, now, as it happens, I think the use of a metaphor is to make something clear that previously was not, um, or um, to put things in such a way that uh, makes things more clear than they would be otherwise. Um, so let me let me illustrate this. Um, uh, let's see, um, scientific discussion says uh, the Attila witch doctor metaphor is pretty stupid when you think about it. He says uh, um, to think that all societies throughout time have been either one way or the other way, um, you know, he says that's really stupid. So, but the difference between Rand's metaphor of Attila and the witch doctor 
and a postmodernist metaphor is that Rand takes this one metaphor and she spends an entire article explaining what she means by it and fleshing out all the details and all the implications. Um, a postmodernist will use a metaphor instead of saying something explicit, um, instead of making a coherent, clear point. Um, for example, um, Scientific Discussion um, spends a great deal of his uh, three-part video series uh, picking out uh, Mr. Cropper's metaphors and saying things like, well, is that a concrete uh, concentration camp in, uh, in my back pocket? Or, you know, Mr. Cropper, I want you to concretely turn blue in the face. Um, so, but the thing is, Mr. Cropper's metaphors are all perfectly clear. Everyone understands what he's talking about. And in fact, if you, we didn't know what he was talking about, your questions would be genuine. They would not be sarcastic. So, the proper use of a metaphor is to clarify. An improper use is to obscure. And how do you know whether it's obscure or if it's clarifying? Well, is it, ex is it clarifying something in your own mind? That's, that's the testing ground. Um, so, let's see. Um, check it out. Oh, and another thing about the, um, the Attila Witch Doctor metaphor is that uh, there are two basic ways that people can control and manipulate each other um, through physical force or through intellectual manipulation. Um, this is not a, a strange or unusual point. It is certainly not so ridiculous that you can just dismiss it out of hand. Um, so, uh, pretty stupid when you think about it? No, I don't think so. Because all, all she's talking about is two basic ways that people can uh, uh, control each other. So, let's see. 